Revelation 1410. From the 7th of May 1940. Rebellion against the divine will is the cause of the bound state. The complete liberation of the spiritual from the form must be preceded by a complete submission of the will, because the rebellion of the will against the divine will, has brought about the spiritual the banished state, consequently, this state must be lifted by submission, thus the spiritual must be redeemed from the form which has held it captive for immemorial times. Therefore, rebellion against the divine will has been the cause of the banished state, the spiritual that came out of God, has sinned against its creator by not recognizing the divine will and by setting its own will against it. And it has had to atone for this sin through endless times of complete bondage. It was allowed to go the way up in a certain lack of freedom of the will until divine love gave it again free will and left it to the being to decide again for or against God. And with this, the possibility is given to the being to free itself from the banished state, which was consequence of its abused free will, if it now uses its will correctly. And this correct use consists in the complete subordination of the own will under the divine will. And therefore divine love seeks to make himself known to all his beings, so that the unredeemed spiritual, would have a desire for this love. And feels the urge in itself to be connected with him. And now in surrender submit to the divine will and relinquish all resistance against God. The being will therefore remain in the form as long as its will does not completely confess God and be free from the moment of submission of the will. For even if the life on earth would not be finished yet, the spirit is free from this moment on and can escape from the form as often as it pleases. The spirit is no longer banished from God in the form, it can strive upwards where and when it wants, because its will has sought and found God because there is no longer any danger that the being could not respect the divine will and rebel against God again. Therefore, the moment of liberation occurs when the being has sacrificed its will, when all will is directed to connect with God, and when its own will unconditionally subordinates itself to the divine will. The subordination to the divine will, is therefore the only thing that the being should strive for. Interruption. 